my gosh. Part one was the first video highlighting this year's Randy's Adventures Wanna Camp Together Meetup when we all had the opportunity to tour each other's little guy Maxes, mini Maxes, and other small campers and share our favorite modification, accessory, hack, or tip with everyone. I was so impressed with how innovative everybody had been. And the cool ideas continue right now in part two. And be sure to stay tuned for part three. This is the big clam. That's show. nice. Yeah. And it was very easy to set up. Okay, so here's my main squeeze. Uh, uh, I'm Helen Iroll. Helen Iroll. And, and I'm Romero. Romero. And uh, we're from Yorktown Heights, New York. Right. And we've been on the road for 34 days or so. Right now. As of 1 April. So this is a well lived in tra trailer. <laughs> we got a couple of mods that we've done uh, that I think might be helpful to the group. Uh, one thing I noticed when uh, Helen was cooking was we would oftentimes uh, have the smoke alarm go off because uh, the smoke was in there. So I figured out that we needed a ventilation system of some sort, and that's what this is. So you can buy this at Camper's World. It's really mount designed to sit on a table somewhere, and it runs off of uh, AC. And so what I did was I got some stock. Uh, this is a piece of aluminum that you can get from uh, Amazon. It's a um, two inch by one inch uh, rectangular tube. I got an angle grinder and I cut out one side of it so I have a little bit of a lip right there. And then on the inside of this section right here, I got a heat gun, made a little lip on this as well, and then drilled two holes. And I drilled two holes that line up with that. And so this can then mount just like that and you turn it on. And it's right where the stove is, and it evacuates all the all the smoke and vapors. And while it's in that position, you can actually still close. So if it's raining so if out it's or raining. anything else like that. And that's when we actually figured it out. We were cooking lamb chops on an outside grill. It started pouring. We brought the lamb chops in. I started to cook, and the whole place knew we were cooking. Um, the alarm. And it's really nice that it's able to plug in right it here. Right in. You don't have to have any lines or any, anything going in that, that way. Also, this is not exactly a camper mod modification, but it is very effective. A little bungee. A little bungee that keeps this open so it's not flapping back and forth. And then this, this is a great invention. <laughs> Okay, we have a lagoon table. So we got rid of the big uh, metal uh, contraption and I uh, used the same table. And now to set the height for this, this is for having the table just below the lip. This is the height for having just above the lip. So when you're setting it up, you just put it underneath and you uh, lower it right onto there. And uh, again, we modified this from an idea that was uh, posted by another person who used Legos. And she used seven Legos to go below or eight uh, Legos to go above. And so I figured, well, I don't have Legos, so I'll get some wood. So right above where we eat, I think I picked these up at like Bed Bath & Beyond or something like that. And then I just cut them so you can slip it in and you can actually access all of it. So then you categorize what you need, like your headlamps are here, your, you know, cozies for your beer. These are your sunscreens. And so basically I've got... Everything that people have on the door, well, I have it across here. So that's an easy mod for that. Oh, one more. What? Okay, so we put a fear in uh, on the back. Uh -huh. You'll see it in the back. And then I put one on the side as well here. And so this obviously goes in the car so we can see what's going on behind us. But we can bring it inside because it runs off a 12 volt. And so when we have all our toys laid out here in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. I have this camera on mm -hmm. and it has a motion detector. So if someone tries to like our bikes more than us, uh, at least I have awareness that something's happening outside. And it runs off of 12 volts, as you, as you guys know. And so you can see what it looks like in here. And this is the camera right here? That's the camera. And what I did was I went into the control panel and I got a hot 12 volt line. And then I drilled a hole into the control panel and I just put a toggle switch on. So you, you see the regular toggles that they come, but there's enough area, a blank spot, where you can insert your, your own toggle. And so now when we drive, it's not light dependent on the lighting system to get power. Uh, I have a whole separate a source now that is always available that I can turn it on or turn it off as, as I need. Okay, so there's that. And then here's the, here's the toggle, here's the toggle right, right down there. Right there. Okay. This is great. This is our indoor and outdoor temperatures of our freezer. And we have sensors in here. You can buy the sensor. And then you don't have to wonder whether or not your food is actually cold enough or hot enough without, you know, like 
going in. It's right here. So that's really kind of cool. This is his uh, toaster oven that he has on his side, which actually slides back and forth in here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and then this goes on top. Okay. Take it out, put it up here, and it does everything from baking to preheating or anything else like that. I freeze a lot before we left. So on those nights that we are arriving at the campsite at nine o'clock and setting up in the dark, um, it's really nice to just have a one pot meal or one thing, you know, that I can actually like literally put in the toaster oven real quick or on in one pot and then be done. This carpet is from my daughter's apartment and she moved. So we borrowed it and it fits pretty much perfectly. And with having two dogs travel, it's really a, a blessing. It's a nice big rug. Yeah. We are Chuck and Yvonne Baird. We're from Marshall, Michigan. Uh, we have a 21 Mini. Again, the, the previous people did a lot of marking of things. Uh, we'll do the outside first. They color-coded things. Hot, okay? And inside, uh, where all the fuses are and everything, everything is marked like that. Most Minis have this here. I believe the previous owners were bicycle people because they needed something here to lock. Again, they I think they probably use that there. So this unit was there and it's now moved over there, which we don't care for. But nevertheless, this also comes off. We are Kurt and Mary Moore from Green Bay and we really have no modifications. <laughs> we bought ours used two years ago and have taken a couple long trips out west and out to the east coast. and. We haven't really done a lot to it, but we really love it. It's got the full queen size bed, which we have the Betty on, and the Froley system, which makes our bed more comfortable. We like our Kazelle, where we do a lot of sitting outside and do our cooking outside. That's the best mod ever. Yes. This is the best mod ever. <laughs> yeah, it's really easy to set up, easy to take down, a few minutes, and it's up and down. Julie and Jean from Novi, Michigan. This is a 23, and we've only had it uh, since the end of February this year. So we're still learning a lot, but we've done a few mods. One mod is um, the keyless entry by RV Lock. The stairs, double stair by Lippert. It fit, it's a little bit narrower, so you have to put a little bit of shim in there and drill some new holes through the frame on the rear for the bolts to go through. But it was relatively simple to put on with a, a floor jack. And then we put the CampGo uh, bug screens on uh, all the propane items and on the uh, fridge vents on the other side. One thing that was talked about was the, the front jack. We went with a trailer valet jack. It has a removable handle. So when the, the bed of the truck comes down, it clears it just barely. But one thing nice about it, you can put an adapter on your cordless drill and it moves up and down just like an electric jack. And then uh, they call it a fast way flip, just moves up and down when you uh, put the jack up. So that's convenient. Another mod we put on air was a vent over a fan, a Max Air, Max Air vent, which allows us to keep the vent open if it's raining. One thing we found pretty handy, Ikea makes these suction cup hooks and I was amazed on how well they hold on, on the shut inside the shower and the exterior and of course everybody hits their head on this so we put <laughs> oh this is nice yes i've hit my head on this corner so many times and it hurts oh yeah so what is this i've got these on amazon okay and it's just uh you peel it sticks right on the corners and it's made specifically for this yeah for corner edges it's designed for uh putting on cabinets for little kids babies to yeah, keep that's from brilliant. hitting their heads that's brilliant i really love the steps oh yeah it was well worth it so hi, I'm Jody. Um, I am a brand new camper. I have a 2018 little guy, Max. Um, my first update is the stickers. New driver. This is my first ever trip, so I thought it was important that people knew. I don't know what I'm doing. If I'm on the road, I know people assume that if you're driving a camper, you know what you're doing. I don't, so I wanted to warn people. That's my first update that I made. I love that. Please be kind. <laughs> It is new to me. There were a lot of upgrades done by the previous owner, but the one that I've done that I'm most proud of is inside. It is the table. So let me show you. Everybody loves their Laguna tables. I wasn't a fan because this original table from 2018 is very heavy and it weighs down the Lagoon bar. So what I did was I put a slide bar attached to where the table normally rests so I can slide my table back and forth. If I want to, when I travel, take it down, I just lift it up and it comes right off. 
And let me show you. I'll just do that real quick. It just comes off and it lays down to travel. And then when I get somewhere, I just pick it up, press it back in the track, again, sliding. And I put a mounting leg that screws right into, I don't even know what you call that, but my shower mod is that the door used to open to the dinette and it was a little squeeze getting in and out. So what I did was I took the frame and I unscrewed it, flipped it upside down, screwed it back into the exact same holes, and now my door opens to my camper and I have all that space. It's not a problem getting in and out any longer. Next, you have to watch part three because this video is also packed with more cool modifications, accessories, tips, and hacks that you don't want to miss out on. So click here to watch it now to see what I mean.